American author Suzanne Collins wrote a series of dystopian books for young adults called The Hunger Games. Katniss Everdeen is the main character in the trilogy. The fourth book is a prequel that takes place 64 years before the first book. In the story, Katniss Everdeen is forced to take part in a fight to the death tournament against other youngsters. The book is set in Panem, a dystopian country that was built on what used to be North America. In a world with few resources, the despotic capital government keeps its people in line by putting them into districts and making the differences between classes even bigger. But the Hunger Games are their best way to divide the country and keep people from rebelling. Each year, Two districts compete against each other while the whole country watches on TV. Katniss lives with her mother and her younger sister, Prim, in the poorest district, District 12. Since her father died, she has been taking care of her family. She and her friend Gail hunt illegally in the woods outside the district. The book starts on Reaping Day when each district has to choose two tributes, one male and one female, to go to the Hunger Games and fight for them. When Prim is chosen as the female tribute, Katniss offers to take her place. She and Peter, a middle-class boy from the district, are both chosen. The book describes how the kids are trained for the cruel games and made to look a certain way for the crowd. She forces herself to be calm and determined to win, but the kind Peter makes this tough. When Peter says in a live interview that he has a crush on Katniss, it makes things even worse between them. Even though she worries that making emotional connections could get in the way of her desire to win, she agrees to show a united front, as their sponsor Hamish suggests. The games take place in a field in the middle of a forest. Katniss runs away from the first battle, which is very exciting, and uses her hunting and survival skills to come up with a plan. She sleeps in trees and goes on hunts. Faces of the dead are shown in the sky every night. As she stays hidden, she finds out that Peter has joined forces with the career tributes who are from the wealthier districts and train their whole lives for the games. The people who make the games, called Game Makers, are still changing the environment to keep the games interesting. Katniss is stuck in a tree above the careers because she was badly burned in a firestorm. That night, Katniss contacts Rue, the youngest tribute, whom she identifies with Prim. Rue is in a nearby tree and tells her to beat the careers by dropping a wasp nest on them. She does this, and gets stung in the process. However, she also scatters the careers and gets a bow, which is her best weapon. The wasp stings make her see things that aren't there. This slows her down and almost kills her until Peter helps her get away. Katniss and Rue decide to work together and come up with a plan to get rid of the supplies that keep the careers in power. Rue starts fires to keep them busy while Katniss figures out that they are using landmines from a game maker design to protect their food. When she uses the mines to blow up the supplies, she gets thrown back and can't do anything for a few days. She comes back just in time to see another tribute kill Rue who in turn becomes Katniss's first kill. Katniss sings to Rue and puts flowers on her body before the capital comes to take it away. This is a small act of rebellion against the capital, which wants the tributes to be cruel to each other. The game makers declare that due to a change in the rules, two tributes from a district may be declared co-victors. She then comes upon Peter who was severely punished for assisting Katniss in escaping the careers. She does what she can to help him get better, but it's not until Hamish sends her a gift after a kiss that she realizes that playing up the romance angle could be a good idea. They spend days in a cave getting to know each other better, but Katniss doesn't know how to heal Peter's wound. 
When the gamemakers say there will be a feast to bring the tributes together so they can get important supplies, she deceives Peter and heads to the feast. When she tries to get her gift, which she thinks is medicine to keep Peter from getting sick, she is almost killed by a career, but the other tribute from Rue's district saves her. After hearing about how nice Katniss was to Rue, the tribute doesn't bother her. Peter gets better after taking the medicine, and they spend more time together in the cave. Once the gamemakers have depleted their water supply, they will ready themselves to meet Kato, the sole other survivor. But it turns out that Kato isn't their biggest problem. Instead, it's a group of wolfman creatures that the gamemakers sent after them. These creatures were made from the bodies of dead tributes. Katniss and Peter get away by climbing to higher ground, but the other tribute falls and is tormented by the creatures. Katniss kills the tribute with her arrow in the end because she feels sorry for him. They win the games, but the game makers change the rules again. Peter and Katniss say they will kill themselves together, which would ruin the games, so they are both given a victory. They are taken away by people from the capital and kept apart for a long time so they can heal. When they are shown to the audience again, Hamish cautions Katniss that she must exaggerate the lover's angle as a justification for her threat to commit suicide, which the capital regards as an act of rebellion. Over the next few weeks, she does what he says, which makes Peter, who does love her, very happy. When everything is over, they go back to District 12, and Katniss lets it slip that she always liked the cameras. She is split between her old self as a poor hunter and the more complicated one she made for herself through the games. Peter is heartbroken, but he knows that they have to keep up a certain image as they get ready to meet their district. If you have any suggestion please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.